Hello guys, I am Lisa from GemPages. Welcome to the video tutorial series, GemPages 101. No one likes waiting around on a slow site. If a product page takes forever to load, customers can't see what they need to know about the item. And of course, if they can't see it, they won't buy it. So today in this video, let's find out how to optimize your page speed and performance. When you are building your store and turns out your pages are packed with too much stuff, you'll get a warning like this one. Payload, too large error. That's your cue to lighten the load and speed things up. Here are some common issues that slow down product pages and how you can fix them. First, using too many products on one page. Take a look at this example. It starts with headphones, but as you scroll, more options like phones or laptops are added. This overload of content makes the page feel heavy and slow. The solution here is pretty simple. Remove unnecessary products, and only include those that are relevant to the main product. This not only speeds up the page, but also enhances the shopping experience. Customers receive tailored suggestions that match their needs. Another common issue is when single elements overlap. Check out this page. It's jam-packed with individual elements. Each small square represents a product, and these tabs are crammed with long lists of products. When you cram too much, it slows down and feels sluggish. To address this, simply remove these elements. Drag GemPage's product list element onto the page and add products that complement the main item. Remember, quality over quantity. Include only the relevant ones. With fewer product elements on the page, it'll load faster. The next factor slowing down the page is the high quality images you use for products. We all want our product images to look their best, but having too many high quality images on the page can make it heavy and slow. Here's a tip. Consider setting all those product images to medium quality. They'll still look good, but won't slow down the page. Another reason for slow loading pages is the document object model size, or DOM size. Think of the DOM as a container holding all the page's elements, like text and images. When we nest tabs within tabs or mix tabs with accordions, it's like stacking smaller containers inside larger ones. This makes the container heavier, slowing down the page. Also, if we nest rows within other rows, it adds to this problem. To keep your page running smoothly, avoid nesting tabs within tabs or mixing tabs with accordions. Instead, organize them separately. For example, place related subtabs under a main tab, not inside it. Similarly, if using accordions for product details, keep them separate, maybe further down the page. Keeping things organized like this helps maintain a faster product page. The same goes for rows. Stick to using just one row and get rid of any extra ones, and your problem is solved. For example, there's a countdown timer sitting in a row here, so we just have to move it out and delete that extra row. Then everything fits in one row, making the page lighter and quicker. Lastly, let's talk about the images again. Look at this one here. It seems okay, right? But when we put this page live and take a closer look at this image, by checking the code, you'll see something interesting. The image's actual size is 1710 by 1710 pixels, but it's only showing 584 by 584 pixels on the page. This means we're using a much bigger image than we actually need, which is making the page slow and heavy to load. To fix it all, all we need to do is resize the image to fit the required size, which is 584 by 584 pixels in this case. Luckily, there are lots of free and really easy to use online tools that help us shrink the image size without losing any quality making our page load much faster. Oh, there's one more tip for you. Be careful with those extra apps you add, since they can sneakily slow things down. Choose wisely and give them a test run to ensure they're not messing with your page speed or messing up the user experience. All right, so we've covered the five main reasons why product pages tend to lag. That wraps up our video on boosting page speed. I hope these tips help you optimize your site, making it more user-friendly and turning those visitors into customers. Thanks for watching.